Hello and welcome. Today, we will be conducting a lab that teaches students that clouds form in warm, rising water vapor condenses. Severe weather patterns often develop under warm, low pressure conditions. The name of this lab is Storm Central. The materials we will need for this lab are a 500 milliliter beaker, two 250 milliliter beakers, two colors of food dye, two pipettes, a microwave, and some ice cubes. The Sunshine State Standards for this lab requires a student to investigate how natural disasters have affected human life in Florida. They also help students describe how global patterns such as jet stream and ocean currents influence local weather in measurable terms such as temperature, air pressure, wind direction and speed, and humidity and precipitation. The inquiry question for this lab is, after observing this demonstration, why did both food colorings move to different positions? Can you explain how ocean currents occur now? The conclusion statement is, hot water is less dense than cold water because its molecules are moving faster and thus there are fewer molecules in a given volume. Now we will begin the lab. The first thing we're gonna do is put some ice into some water, make sure it's cool. And then we're going to heat up some hot water over here with a hot plate. Next step is to go ahead and add food coloring. You can add a generous amount. Let it mix up. And we're going to add some food coloring to the hot one. Okay, now we're going to take some of the blue cold water in our pipette. some of the hot green water. And then we're gonna put it in the cup of room temperature water. You're gonna to wanna to put the hot water on the bottom and the cold water on the top and watch what happens. Now ask the inquiry question. After the discussion and debate are over, close the lab with the following information. Convection is occurring as water flows from one position to the other. This is a lot like a thunderstorm in which warm air is forced to rise due to a cold front. The cold front helps build the rising warm air into a cumulus cloud. As the warm air rises, it begins to cool and the water vapor in the cloud condenses. Under these conditions, a thunderstorm can occur. Finish this lab with a discussion of weather patterns and ask how they affect life in Florida. Ask the students how their lives have been affected by natural disasters. Some additional questions to ask the students includes, give two examples of how natural disasters have affected life in Florida. Would you expect severe weather to take place under low or high pressure conditions? This concludes today's lab. Thank you for joining us today and we'll see you next time.